Okay, so I'm going to look at a question that's been giving some students a, a bit of a problem, and it's about the sum of the squared residuals. Now, in this question here, if you look up at the top, it gives you the data. And it wants you to do this by hand first, is like plot some points. You know, plot these points out, so you plot them out and you get this graph here. Okay? Then it says find the equation of the line containing the points 3, 7, and 8, 22. So these two points. It wants the equation of that line. All right, so you, you just go back to algebra and you do the equation of that line. Now, it's, this is just kind of giving you an idea like, oh, if you were to choose these two points and, and fit that data, um, how would it look? Okay, so if I can go in here and grab the pen, we have uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, the slope would be the difference of the y's, 22 minus 7, over the difference of the x's, 8 minus 3. So 22 minus 7 is 15 over 5, and the slope would be, th whoops, excuse me, the slope would be, yeah, the slope would be 3. Okay, so now we're going to choose one of the two points. We're going to make this slope 3 and have this x there and that y there. I'm going to choose the smaller of the two points. Let's choose this one. y minus 7, x minus 3. So I get y minus 7 equals 3x minus 9, and then I will add a 7 to both sides, and that will be my equation of the line going through the points 3, 7, and 8, 22. Now that's just an equation of a line that goes through those two points, and it looks like that right there. Okay, it looks like it's hitting four of the five points. So then we're supposed to determine the regression line. Okay, I'm not going to do that by hand. I'm going to show you how to do that by StatCrunch. So how I would do that is open this information in StatCrunch. So that's our line to this data with through those two points. But now, uh, the least squares regression line, we go to stat, regression, simple linear. We select the x variable and the y variable. And then we can leave everything there. We don't need any of the other stuff. There's the residuals. If you want to see the residuals of this line exactly, you know, you'll be able to, you can do the plot residual points and things like that. Otherwise, let's just go down here and click Compute. Now in here, you're going to see the equation of that line. 2.953, 2.953. See, it's a little backwards. This is the x over on the right. Then negative 1.349, negative 1.349. So that's the simple linear regression line, least squares regression line. Now what that means is that's the line that's actually fitting the data. So we said it was 3x, it's actually 2.953x. We said it was plus negative 2, it's actually negative 1.349, so it's a little, it crosses the y-intercept at a different location. So these going through these two points was an okay guess, but as you come down here, it's actually this line it's not going through them exactly. That one point kind of pulls it off and makes things a little different, right? So it's not exactly this line. So it's close, but not exactly. Now, this is where the residuals come in. It says compute the sum of the squared residuals for the line in part B. Okay, part B is up here. It's the line that you created that you found through those two points. To do this by hand is challenging, so let's look at it. I'm going to bring this Excel document over here because I put all the points in here and then what we do is we use the equation of the line that we have. So what you need are predicted values based on this line. So when you put 3 into this equation, I get 7. Well, that matches up. I put 4 into this equation, I get 10. 5 into this equation, I get 13. There we have a difference, right? That's the difference right here. You know, it's off a little bit, right? So we're off because the equation, the line says it's supposed to be down here, 13, not 15. 7 
puts, gives me 19, that matches up, and 22. So what I'm doing is putting these x's into this equation and getting my new y hat or my predicted value. All right, so then the way it goes for some of the squared residuals is the residuals are the difference. How far are the points off the line? Okay, how far is this y value away from this y value, etc.? Well, the first ones are, they're exactly the same. y minus y hat, zero. y minus y hat, zero. Now here's the one, 15 minus 13 is two. It's two units away. That point is two units away where the predicted value is. The line is the predicted value based on this equation. All right, so now we have zero. They're right on, they're right on. You can see they're right on. The predicted value in the line matches right up with our line here with the because we use these two points. Now the squared just means you square these residuals. These are the residuals, how far you're off. You square them, zero squared, zero squared, two squared, and then you sum them, sum of the squared residuals. Okay, right there, four. And that's what they're looking for down here is four. So that was the sum of the squared residuals was four. That's a, um, a number that's higher than zero, right? If it's zero, it would be exactly all the, all the data would be exactly on the line. So you're trying to get a number close to zero. You're, you're trying to minimize the sum of the squared residuals, the error, right? So let's look down here. They said compute the sum of the squared residuals of the least squared regression line of this line, the one you found in StatCrunch or on Excel or however you found it. Well, that's down here under the error, and you'll notice it's 3.163, 3.1627, 3 3.163 right here. Now this has a lower sum of the squared residuals, meaning the linear regression line here is better is a better fit for this data to predict the data. So we got close with just picking two points because some of them lined up, but the line here that's a little bit above and a little bit closer to this one, it hits some of these. That's a better that's a better line. So this this is um, lower some of the squared residuals, the lower error, closer to zero more, right, 3.163, than this one is. So that's how you do it by hand, and then that's how you do it by um, using StatCrunch to get the, the actual regression line. I'm not expecting you to find that by, by hand. Um, it's a lot of work, so we're using the, the um, StatCrunch or Excel, but understanding what's happening here by, by showing you that, oh, if you use any line, it could be pretty far off, even though it looks like it should be right. Um, it's, not quite, it's not quite the best line for that information. All right, I hope that helps. Um, please post in discussion if you have any more questions.